In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to get continuous movement or continuous interaction from a key pressed. So for example, I have a key pressed function down here, and this actually does apply to key type functions as well. Same concept here. But I have key pressed, and I have if up is pressed, I change the rect y uh, variable by a negative number, down changes rect y by a positive number, left changes rect x by negative, right changes rect x by positive. And that's affecting this rectangle that is drawn using rect x and rect y, which are variables that I set up here in global. And what happens is when I run this, I can go ahead and I can tap my arrow keys, and this rectangle will move by the increment of 5, which is what I set for all these, um, every time I tap. But I cannot push and hold. If I push and hold, it moves once and stops. If you want continuous movement, there's a very good reason why it's not happening. Function key press is happening at the same time as function draw. But as you know, function draw is a loop over and over and over again. So function key press can only occur whenever function draw is not looping. If you want this for, two, for this to be a continuous movement, uh, movement, you need to actually call function key press inside function draw. So all you do is you would copy and paste or just type anywhere in draw. I'm going to put it all the way at the top here. Key press, parenthesis, parenthesis, semicolon. Nothing else. All this is doing right here is it's saying that, okay, function key press, this key press function, which is somewhere else in the program, is part of the draw loop. And now it's going to loop every time draw loops. So now if we run it, when I press the key, it continuously moves. However, it does not stop moving. So now I can press up and then it changes direction whenever I press another key. So right now I'm just, I'm not pushing and holding. I'm just tapping and it keeps moving until I press and change the direction. It's going to move on forever. And yes, it will even move off of the screen. It did not bounce, by the way. I just did that. So it will move off the screen until you call it back. If you want it to move only when you push and hold, we actually need to modify these if statements to a uh, and keys being held. And to do that, you say and and key is pressed, very similar to the mouse is pressed function. And yes, you do need to do this in each if statement. So now it's going to say if key code equals equals some type of arrow or key that you're doing. And again, this does apply to key typed commands as well. And, and key is pressed. So the combination of calling key pressed in draw as well as adding the and, and key is pressed will now allow you to push and hold to move your characters rather than having to uh, tap increments or just change the direction as it goes like so.